Hi guys, it's Jeff from Jeff Garden Tipping Containers. Uh, just want to go give you a little insight of how the greenhouse is going so far. It's uh, been really productive. Even some of the overwintering stuff I put in produced. When I opened this up inside here today, it's last night it got down in the 30s. So I just had it shut. And when I opened it up this morning around 11 o'clock, it had to be 90 to 100 here. That's how hot the thing gets. So. I, I shut it, opened it up, let it breathe and everything. And uh, so the next few days, I'll just look the extended forecast for the next two weeks. And they are talking about uh, uh, high 60s and 70s during the day. So I have to leave it up in the day and at night. So I'll be putting the heater in it tonight. Probably won't use it for the next two weeks, but I'll get it wired up and everything in place. So when it does change or if it changes quickly, we'll be ready to go so it'll be able to handle the cool weather fine with with everything that's in there but i'll show you how it's produced and you can see these potatoes have kind of dried off i'll be pulling those out soon same as those there just not looking good at all you can see how fresh those are looking right there those potatoes are really starting to produce but they're still believe it or not they're still a good month and a two months away but i'm bringing them out now because the weather's so nice to let them try to get more life to them those are just starting to come up, as you can see there. Um, so um, I won't be able to leave these potatoes out here. Once it gets real, real cold out at night, like freezing them below, I'll have to put them in the greenhouse, but give them something for now. And you can see the, the broccoli there. It's really pushing that pretty good and um, give it some time. It, it should produce some heads here as long as it doesn't get cold uh, rapidly uh like real quick or whatever but if we go inside here into the inside the uh garden here you can see now look at the see the peppers on here i had picked everything dry in here i mean there's another one over here uh there's another one down there so there's four or five of the green bells uh this one it does have some starting on it but nothing major yet you look, you see this eggplant just won't go away on that one. It's starting to, there's a leaf that fell off, but you see it's starting to get the flowers back on it again. I really don't expect that to last or do anything good for us. You can see that bell right in there on that plant. So the peppers are really still, see the strawberry right down there, the strawberries are starting to come back because it's so warm in here during the day, it doesn't get too cold at night. Uh, you can see the peppers coming back on here. The peppers were pretty well gone. I, like I said, I picked these things dry. Uh, you can see the two eggplants here. There's a nicer one there. This one's got a little bit of a dent, like it got some temperature to it. Uh, but you can see it's, it's dying off, and I will eventually overwinter this back. But right now, you can see this part of it too with the purple flowers where, and up in here where it's, Still want to produce because during the day, even though it's cold at when I if I leave this, uh, even if I leave it open during the day, it still stays 70, 75 in there. So, uh, what I didn't overwinter and what I did overwinter, they're both producing right now. So, I've had a couple emails on the overwintering and different stuff, and it's uh, really proven itself. Um, and those what I call Florida trees my son was keeping outside. They're still keeping up in here too. They're showing a little bit of weather, but they're not made for this kind of weather. But uh, once I get the heater in here and get things, it gets real cold outside, I'll be lucky if they keep any leaves on them. But for now, at least they're uh, still looking very, very good. It's not like I'm leaving them out in the cold with nothing. Now this bush here, I took everything off here this thing produced like uh, crazy this year. And it just had zillions and zillions of peppers. And I'll be honest with you, look at this. They're just everywhere. There's got to be 50 peppers on there. So I still have to, I'm going to let them go a little bit longer since the weather's going to be nice for the next week or so. To two weeks, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, see that one over, see that right there over winter, right? See how it's starting to starting to get its leaves back so there's that one right there and that one over there now eventually they'll, they'll all go off you know when it gets to be longer and darker days which it will around here uh see that 
potato there. I left that one in because it's producing pretty good in the spot it's at, so I'm pretty excited about it. I do have some squash and uh, stuff here, but I don't know. It's gonna make it. It's just a, a it's a long shot in this kind of weather, even though it's warm in here. Uh, I did have you can see these two here. I got a eggplant here, an eggplant here, and it's kind of dried up, but it's still usable but for this time of year to have the Japanese eggplants is very rare you can see these still flowering here these squashes and zucchini so I I don't expect them to make it but hey could try it uh, bell peppers again it's just uh, crazy look at these things they are just everywhere so I got a lot of them to get up but since I'm not in such a hot a hurry and we haven't kept up with everything this year as far as eating everything I've given so much away I might let them wait another while while I still have them on here as long as I don't see them starting to get uh, uh, like you'll see on this one here I'll get rid of this this bell here but you can see it's starting to get a, a bad spot on it uh, it'll still uh, it would still you can cut it up so use part of it but I got so many of them I'm not too worried you can see the the uh, Spinach is doing great. And then once again, this is a uh, zucchini in here, which it's, it's just hard for me to believe that these zucchinis are still flowering and doing this. I expect them all to be, and the squash to be dead right now. It takes real warm weather, and it takes two months for those things to do it. So even with the heater in here, when I keep this thing at 55, uh, that uh, the chance of them are producing are about zero. But heck, they're doing it. I didn't think this was going to do it. Look at this! Look at this tomato plant that just came up in the last couple of weeks. Look how big it is. And I'm not even going to put a cage on it because I don't think it's going to do anything. But I'm leaning against the corner, there and it's got the sun that comes right in this corner here mostly of the day. So it might uh, help it do something. Might help it produce a little bit, but I don't see any yellow leaves on there. And we are, even though we're having this good weather, we are still getting to the point of uh, it knows winter's coming even though that hibiscus is blooming back there and the yellow leaves are on everything it, it these things even if it stays nice out for a while the yeah, funny thing about uh, vegetables or trees and stuff like that like if you look at those there and those have the leaves off there it hasn't even been that cold and I've cut my yard I think four or five times already not to cut the grass just to keep up like I just cut yesterday you can just see the leaves just coming down but I constantly keep them cut up so they don't plug up in a lawnmower and plus they people don't realize you mulch your, your leaves up you can leave them right in the ground they're just fantastic as far as uh, feeding your lawn and giving it vitamins and keeping the ground so what I'll do tonight is tell you my, when I'm done here when I do the harvest I'll send you guys some pictures or whatever and I'll post them, but right now I'm gonna, it, like I said, it was so hot today, I'm gonna close the back of it and I'll close the rest of it later and then I'm gonna put the heater in there tonight, get the wires running everywhere and then I'm not gonna turn it on and then we'll get it to the point when the weather changes fine and when I get up in the morning, since it's supposed to be a decent day the next week or two, I'll have just the screen down on the front of this with the back shut so it's just enough to, to keep it warm in there, but it also, uh, is enough to uh, not let things overheat and cook themselves. So right now, like I said earlier on, if you're into greenhouse and overwintering, it just proves a lot of stuff that that uh, marginal from what you hear. Like you see that eggplant growing there. There's another one growing there. Uh, and I watered everything here midweek, I think it was. Uh, I come out with a hose and just. Uh, Soaked all the barrels and everything, but they dry out quick in here when it's sunny, so I'll have to water it again this week. But it'll get to the point here in the next, uh, next two, three, max, max three weeks to wear. Won't have to water it for the rest of the uh, winter season. It'll start to get cool eventually around here. Well, you know, with the weather nowadays, but it, it should get to that point and then we'll be uh, in decent shape for Letting the greenhouse go for a while, and then I'll get some of the newer potatoes back in there after they've gotten their airing out and got some good sun out here. All right, guys, that's the update on the greenhouse and what's going on. It's 
to your round thing and it's kind of fun keeping up with it and seeing what you can make and you can't make and how it's going to work all right guys you have the rest of your weekends good football time i gotta get in and watch 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 the rest of the eagles game and fellas are on at night and so around here everything's uh pretty sports related right now plus anything else you got going on guys have a great weekend don't forget go out to youtube to Jeff's Vegetable Garden and Containers and like and subscribe. We're also out on Facebook under Jeff's Gardening. Uh, that's the new website that I posted online. You can go out and just type that in and it'll, uh, we got to put a space between it, but Jeff's Gardening, then it'll take you right out to that. And then uh, we're also out on uh, Instagram and that's under uh, Jeff's Gardening Tips. So you have three different sites and YouTube, I can only post videos. Facebook, I can post pictures and videos, and uh, uh, Instagram, it's just pictures and smaller videos, and if they're too big, I only watch so much of it, and it cuts it off. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Like I said, go out and like and subscribe, and appreciate it, and we'll keep the videos coming. Have a good rest of the weekend, guys. See you.